We now are at question 4 of the May 2024 CSET Mathematics paper. Here, part A says a rectangle PQRS has a diagonal PR. And P is the point negative 310. And R is the point 4, negative 4. Calculate the length of the line PR. Hmm. Alright. Now, as usual, you should write down the question or print it. Make a genuine attempt at answering the question yourself before you watch me work out the solutions. Alright? Now, here. Um, let us just um, make a little graph. Sketch a little graph so that we can see what it is that we're doing. P is at negative 310. So if you have 0 here, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 is up here. Negative 3, 10 is about here. So this is P. So this is beside 10 and above um, negative 3. Let me rewrite the negative 3 here. Above negative 3. Alright. So this is the point P. And R is the point 4, negative 4. So negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. Negative 4 is here. So it's at 4, negative 4. So it's beside negative 4 and below 4. That's um, R. Alright, just a little sketch. So, it has a diagonal PR. Okay, so that means the diagonal is this line there. Alright. Calculate the length of the line PR. Alright. So, what you do now? You're going to see... Um, that you have a right angle triangle here. You have PR. So, this is one side of the right angle triangle. This is the other side of the right angle triangle. The right angle is right here. You want the, the length of it. Calculate the length. Now, you have an, um, a formula for the length of a straight line, but Let's just derive it instead of trying to remember it. From P to R. P lines up with negative 3. Uh, R lines up with 4. So this length from here to here is what? It's going to be 4 minus negative 3, which is 4 plus 3, which is 7. That's 7. And then, <coughs> going up and down, R is beside negative 4, and P is beside 10. So what is this length? Running up and down. It's 10 minus negative 4. Same as 10 plus 4, which is 14. So, the length of the line PR. P, my, my. PR squared. It's going to be, it's really going to be 7 squared plus 14 squared Pythagoras theorem. You see that? So, it's going to be 7, 7, 49 plus 14 squared. Work out 14 squared for me. 14 squared, what do you get? 196. 196. So when you add them, this plus 49 gives you what? 245. 245. Alright? 
That's PR squared. So PR would be the square root of 245. What's the square root of 245? 15.65 15.65 units long they didn't say centimeter or meter or whatever they just put units all right so that is the length of PR I didn't bother to try I remember the formula about the length of the line is square root at x1 minus x2 plus y1 minus y2 right you can get it mixed up when you do that all right now <coughs> if you can remember it well then all will and good but you can make mistake with the um with the formula trying to remember it all right so that's the length of the line pr we use pythagoras theorem and they say determine the equation of the line pr Hmm, interesting. The equation. Now we know the equation of a line generally is y equals mx plus c. Alright? M is the gradient, which you can consider rise over run. Now how much does it rise here? If you go from negative 4 to 10. It has to go 4, 3, 0, and then 10 more to go up. So it's 14, right? So the rise is 14. The run, you have to go from negative 3 to 4. So it goes 7. Now it's running from upper left to lower right. So it will have a negative gradient. If you try the formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 it will also give you negative 14 over 7 right so this minus this you get 10 minus negative 4 that's y2 minus y1 over x2 negative 3 minus negative 4 or, or minus 4 you give you a positive 14 over negative 7 right all right, so looking at it, the gradient is negative 2. All right, so it is in the form y equal negative 2x plus c, but we need c. What we can do is use one of the points we are given to find c. At one point, x equal 4 and y equal negative 4 x equal 4 at one point, y equal negative 4 at the other point. So when y is negative 4, negative 4 equal negative 2 times x which is 4 plus c. I could have used the negative 3, 10, 3, no, no problem. We're finding c. So negative 4 is equal to 2, 4 is 8, negative 8 plus c. So if we add 8 to both sides, negative 4 plus 8 equals C. So C would be what? Negative 4 plus 8 is what? 4? Suppose we had tried the other point with it. And we say Y equal negative 2X plus C. And we use X equal negative 3, Y equal 10. So Y is 10 equal negative 2 times x is negative 3 plus c. So we said 10 equals negative 2 by negative 3 is positive 6 plus c. So when we subtract 6 from both sides, we get 10 minus 6 equals c. So c is 4. Same thing. But anyway, what we really ask for is the equation of the line. So the equation of the line is y equal negative 2x plus 4. All right? That is the equation of the line. What does the next part look like? Or oh, is that function and relation? Let's look at the functions part of the question next time.